Look at that fescue. She is a glowing like a new penny. Now look at this. Um, I need you folks to help me. Uh, I need to be figuring out something to put in this. I want to keep it a bed. Uh, it's just got dirt mound up in it and a tarp over it to keep the dirt from washing away. But the kicker is, is when I had this tree cut down and they ground the stump, they only cut it about eight to 10 inches, eight to 10 inches down. So uh, I can't plant a big tree back here. I just don't think it would take with a uh, tree stump there. So I need to uh, plant something that's not going to, you know, go roots real deep. And I want something that's low compact, nothing that spreads, just low maintenance like some bushes or something. I uh, might do a big rock in the middle of it. But I'd love to have another tree back, but... As bad as I cussed it, it just ain't gonna happen with the big stump there. And I can't dig the stump up because the irrigation line runs right there along the side of it. And I'm sure the roots would rip up my irrigation lines. And I just don't wanna turn my yard all to hell. I'll just be honest with you. So. And you see some of these spots right here. This is actually mud from the airification cores. I've been picking out, it's been matted down. So you'll see some of that throughout this video. But uh, I would greatly appreciate it if you could help me with this comment down below in this video. Uh, I'm kind of lost on this, but I'm tired of looking at it. I need to figure something out. And I ain't gonna mess with it until winter time. I just, I'm not gonna mess my grass up until it basically goes dormant. So, anyway, uh, you folks may notice some color differences in videos. Uh, I do have another camera. This is with the iPhone. So this is about as true the color as you can get. I'll show you this right here too. I uh, found a dead squirrel laying right here. Don't know what happened, but it, it burnt the grass all to pieces. I did get it up, but it burned her up. But uh, I also filmed with a DJI Action 5 and the color is just not as true as what this is, but I just can't film with my iPhone all the time. There's no way I can mount it and, and not take a chance of tearing it all to pieces when I'm doing on a piece of equipment or something. But <clears throat> I just wanted to mention that. I didn't, uh, I don't want you to think that I'm using some kind of filter because I don't believe in filters whatsoever. I take it straight off the camera and you get what the camera gives me. You see all these mud spots here? Look at this. Airification cores. It's just that is aggravating this thing. Right there is another mud spot. It's just mud. It's where the cores got matted down on the grass and I picked the cores off but <clears throat> uh, I did have a subscriber come here today I'm not even sure who, what his name was uh, but he told me he was a subscriber I met Pete today and helped him unload some totes for for this gentleman and uh, he's being kind enough to take these totes this 275 gallon totes uh, up to where he lives so those folks can have water to flush the commodes and stuff and he said he was a subscriber to mine and uh, uh, he rode by here so I think he can comment down below that there's no filters what you see is 
legit but I just wanted to make this quick little video uh, asking you folks for help on this look at this I know this is just aggravating right here These things never break down here in my yard. So again, I uh, had to uh, stop my video and restart it. So I'm in a different spot. This is what I'm talking about. dirt turds everywhere but again please help me uh figure something out on that area i would very much appreciate it i'll show you one more thing i'm just making a video here letting you folks look at grass and asking for your help uh to deal with this right here uh for some reason, my flow sensor has not been working correctly, so uh, it's been, I had to keep this un, uncovered. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with it. I think it's just a flow sensor. Um, irrigation would be running and it would be like one of my zones is 18 gallons per minute. It's supposed to do 18 gallons per minute and it would show 18 and then it would go down to four and then back up to 15 and then go to zero while it was running uh they did send me a replacement flow sensor and uh i haven't got a chance to run the whole uh irrigation cycle to see how it's going to work but i run it like four minutes per zone uh this this morning and it seemed to be fine worked fine there so I won't know for sure until, you know, I get to run it. They thought it was communication issues being it was wireless, but it's not. I, I turned the well off and uh, switched it over to city water and it was doing the same thing. So hopefully I got that fixed. And if it did, I can get this covered back up. But uh, that's, and all this stuff right here is laying out. Uh, this is just me being lazy i guess i hadn't put it back in the valve box from when i had to do manual irrigation but oh, and uh so that's gonna do it uh not a informative video but you know i do want to ask you folks for your help because i know nothing about plants and I would greatly appreciate it. So I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.